snow. Wow. So we're <laughs> watching things carefully for sure. Our storm tracker, Jim Cantori, is on the ground with his laser thermometer. That That's apparently right. doesn't work for us this yeah. morning. Uh -oh. Hey, Jim. <laughs> Yeah, that one's going back to Ace Hardware, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that one, but uh, but that's really crucial, especially now that the air temperatures dropped down to 33 degrees. Uh, some reporting stations in downtown actually at 32 right now. So what's happened? Why is Conroe, Texas, which is 30 miles to my north, at 39 degrees, and we're at 33 degrees? Because we've wet bulbed because we've wet bulb. What that means is simply because the precipitation has been heavier here, it's fall, it's fell through the air, and as a result of that, it's cooled down the air and significantly cooled it down. So that's what scares us. Now that we're cool, we get into the heavier snow this afternoon, we'll not only cool down more, but we'll also see some of this stuff sticking on the roadways. So that is the huge concern as we get into crunch time. Check it out, guys. You can see the radar, and unlike Wednesday when Dallas was looking at the rain changing the snow, you are now too far north in Dallas to see the actual snow event. It's going to be shaping up to the south. But you see how these two areas are kind of coming together? And that one dark green area just kind of working its way right up into Houston and just to the south of Houston down around Alvin and over toward uh, oh, Anahuac, uh, Texas, Baytown, all those areas starting to get into this heavier snow and it's starting to stick on the ground as well. So folks, again, down there south of uh, Interstate 10, uh, believe it or not, we're seeing these temperatures just holding right around freezing. Amazing. And look at Galveston at 42 degrees. Last night when I got here, Betty and Kelly, it was 54 degrees. You could walk outside with a hoodie, be comfortable. Now we've got a whole different ball game on our hands, not to mention the chance for frozen precip and some problems. No snow plows here. There's about two and a half dozen schools now prompting and uh, promoting early release on the website here. And we are under a level two advisory from the emergency management office here in Houston, in Harris County. So that's what you'd see for a hurricane. That's what you'd see in a hurricane. Let's show you some bonk in here. Let's take you south of Houston on the Sam Houston Parkway, and you can see what's going on there. We've got, uh, obviously, some precipitation, which is coming down in the form of snow, as it is here. So again, we're moving south of downtown. Notice the accumulating snow on the sides of the roads and through here, even on the sides uh, on the grassy surfaces in between uh, some of the thoroughfares here. So uh, this is not a pretty sight especially from what we're seeing. Now you've got frozen precip, you've got temperatures around freezing, so we're going downhill in a hurry. And no question, guys, with no snow plows and 65 sand trucks, I think, no salt, Houston, we may have a problem. And a big one at that, getting people home this afternoon. Back to you, Betty. Well, Jim, at least right now, as it appears behind you, the traffic's moving okay. So maybe people should try to make that dash home now. You know, that's not a bad idea, but what's been interesting is I've been looking at, uh, I think this is 45 right behind me here. It is not really moving all that much and all that quickly, so it's still crawling around. But, you know, now that, now that what we've seen, Betty, is essentially dozens of schools have come in and said, okay, now we're going to do early release with everybody else. Now that shifts, you know, this, the parents' priorities. They have to get home now and deal with all that as well. And that's where you start getting into gridlock potential. Uh, and, of course, we still have more precip to go. We still got till 9 o'clock tonight with this winter storm warning. So we're going to watch this whole thing unfold today in Houston. And right now, again, it just does not look pretty. Storm tracker Jim Cantori live in Houston. Thanks so much for that live update. Let's find out where this mess, the snow, is headed. Where else in the south will we see it? Here's Kelly. Betty, it's great. The kids will get out of school.